welcome to Mirror Painting 101 by Mirror Lingo. My name is Megan and I'm the art coordinator and your host for this series. Today, we are back again at City Sprouts. Last week, we painted this graphic mural and today, we are going to be painting a children's mural at Sprout Hub. We shared with you guys about graphic murals and in this episode we will be sharing with you guys about children's murals. Now before we begin, we have a very special guest with us today. Drum roll please! A writer and a friend of Real Lingo, Caroline! Would you like to introduce yourself? Hey, I'm Caroline. I was a communication strategist for Miralingo. I streamlined day-to-day -day operations and created content for social media platforms. Last year, I set up Miralingo Juniors, which is an extension of Miralingo that is dedicated to the little ones. One of the goals of Miralingo is to expand its reach and provide a platform specifically for children. Having nephews of my own influenced me to set up Miralingo Juniors, where we will organize workshops that are heavily based on the use of colors, and would stimulate the motor skills and cognitive development. But before Murilingo Juniors was born, we released a children's book called Front Fish Moon. Here are the illustrators, Trisha and Miguel. Yeah, yeah, sure, go ahead, babe, babe. I have recognised Frontfish Moon for some of our murals as he is featured in some of them and hidden away. Frontfish Moon is a hybrid between a prawn, a fish and a moon. He is born out of the crescent of the Singapore's flag. The children's book features his journey and his adventures on planet Earth for the very first time. If you want to do your own mural at home with your kids, we recommend starting with a design that looks simple and doesn't have too many details. You can choose a child's favourite character in front of a landscape for example. Feel free to tweak your design to incorporate rounder edges or more organic lines for easier painting. Be sure to lay sheets on the floor and tape the edges. Paint with bright colours and try to even out the paint as much as possible. Some colours like red and yellow are more translucent and may require multiple layers before it looks opaque. You can also change the colours to what you like and do not have to follow the reference exactly. Experiment using small, medium and large brushes to see what works for you. Don't worry about making a mistake. Once it dries out, you can always paint the right colour over. Make sure to place the brushes in a pail of water after you're done painting with each colour so that they don't dry out. The most important thing is to have fun and take the time to bond with your kid. If you're still having difficulties, feel free to reach out and hire us with better kids to paint your walls. So today we painted an illustration of Frogfish Moon in a dinosaur suit with his dinosaur friend. This design is inspired by our colleague Yuzri, who used to dress up as a dinosaur on special occasions. And that's the end of the episode guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys want to find out more about Miralingo, you can hit up the links below. Please like, share and subscribe!